Hey guys, welcome to it. This is home, sweet home. Hope you're rolling out some of the recipes we are showcasing on the show for the season. We have some great little nice tasty bites for you today. First up, my cup of inspiration, and it goes like this. Learning is a process. A process without end. Learning is a process without end. Local parlance, you're never too old to learn. One characteristic that I detest just a bit is know it alls. You're never too big to learn. Yeah, always remember that. Let's get this show started. I have my brother, JW, in the building, and I'm rolling out recipes. Here's what's coming up on the menu. Some little tasty bites, a heartwarming soup, and a comforting sweet bread. I share a cup with Jason Williams, and he samples my surf and turf crostinis. Fitness chef Charlene Prokop jumps inside Fit Food for Christmas and serves up a delicious pigeon peas soup. And pastry chef Zoo makes a German style fruit bread for dessert. December is here, and we are rolling out recipes right here at home, sweet home. All right, guys, welcome to it. Let's get this show started. I am preparing a nice little bite that you can put on the Christmas table over the holidays. You know I love my meat, but today I'm doing surf and turf crostinis, steak and salmon. So let's, let's, let's make it a little nice, a little luxury if you can. So I have a lovely piece of steak. So patting dry is, is one of the main things for you not to spoil the steak. Um, so, so, so pat dry, and once the steak is patted dry, you season basic salt, pepper, and I just, I, I like to just add a little different spice. You can leave it as is, salt and pepper, because this is really about the meat. It's really about tasting the meat. But I'm doing some paprika, just for that little extra little, a little, mm, you know, that kind of thing. And you just kind of pat in that there. Now, I don't know about you, but every time I eat steak, I eat both sides. So I need to season both sides, yeah? <laughs> so don't season one side of the steak and leave the other side. So you season both sides. So same thing, a little pepper and some paprika. And that's it. Now, you know, in Trinidad and Tobago, in the Caribbean, we like to season our meat. Leave it at two days in the fridge. Make sure it cooks me and thing. It's not necessary. You can literally just salt pepper this and in a very hot pan, drop it in there and allow it three to five minutes without jumping in the scene, according to the young people. Don't go and touch it up and rest it in there and just leave it. So I'm ready to flip. And you see everything sealed in, all the juices sealed in on one side. You do the very same thing on the other side. All I'm doing now when I flip is adding just a little butter. This for some niceness. I'll show you a trick with that butter in a bit. In the meantime, while this is doing another three to five minutes, I just want to slice up some salmon for you. I have some salmon. As I said, I'm doing surf and turf. So I have some salmon. All I'm doing with this salmon, seasoned with actually the very same ingredients, guys. Salt, pepper, a little paprika. And all I'm doing with this salmon is getting it into nice, nice slices. Before I cook it, I'm doing this raw. No, I'm not making sushi. And I take these slices and I put it in another pan just for a nice little sear. And this literally just takes also two, three minutes on either side. So just keeping my eye on the steak. And what I want to do with this steak is just take that nice little butter and oil mixture and give it a nice bath, yeah? And guys, this goes in the oven for another five to seven minutes and then it'll be perfect, medium, medium well. Guys, 
Okay, so my salmon is ready. So I just want to get that out, put it in here. So I am going to show you how easy this is to pull together. I have some baguettes, some simple. You can, you, you can use any type of bread, but a hard bread where you toast it and it gets nice and solid is, is kind of important. So this is the baguette. All I'm doing with this baguette, this is plain old cream cheese. And I just want to take, that's all. And this really is just a nice bed that will hold everything and give it that nice little creaminess. All right, guys, so this is ready to come out of the oven. Very important that you allow it to rest for about five to seven minutes or so before cutting into it. You want the juices just to redistribute. If you cut into that now, you literally spoil the steak. So this see this little piece here? This piece here usually is for me. just to make sure. Mm -hmm. So you begin to slice at a diagonal, and that's exactly what you want. Nice little red just in the middle. To finish it off, guys, so I have steak and I have salmon. Surf and turf crostinis served up. This will look fantastic on your kitchen table, won't it? So I have some honey and balsamic onions, and I really just sauteing some onions in a pan, really simple. And then, Chef Jason Huggins has done this fantastic product. You know I like to use local products, guys. And this is a pepper sorrel jelly that is a perfect little condiment. And this is Stefan Delmano. He does a local pesto. You have three different types of toppings. Surf and turf today, right here at home, sweet home. My celebrity taster, guys is none other than one of my favorite broadcasters of all time. I've been a big fan of this guy all my career growing up, kind of grew up in the industry together, but I've been watching this guy for such a long while. He's done so many things in his career thus far and looking forward to the next half of it. Please welcome G. W, the man they know as Jason Williams. Yes! <laughs> hey, social. Yes! Social, social distancing Ooh. in effect. I come in at the right time. I time the pot, you boy. You time it, you time it. Wow. Let, me, let me move this from you here. Good stuff. So this is finger food? Yeah, so I could just start? So you can choose. I, I, I heard, are you a steak man? Because I hear where the steak was sorting you know, in the green room. It was kind of making some noises. Yeah, I was. I was. Smelled really Smell good. good. Um, really, my preference will always be fish uh, uh, based on my foundation in Erie growing up right. in a fishing village. Right. But you know, um, with my travels, I've, I've, I've tried my, my, my little share steak here and there. So just before you take a bite, growing up in Erie, you would have been exposed to fish. Fish was like a, a staple. Every day, yeah. Every day. Yeah. It's either fry, <laughs> stew, Serious. steam. So brother, salmon, if you uh, said, I love salmon too. So salmon, I said, let me, let me do some salmon. Yeah. Let me start with the salmon. Right. Pepper jelly. Yeah. Onions. Pesto. So you're going for the pepper jelly. Yeah, man. Yeah? Right, let's let me do that. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. Knife and if you got an optimum, yeah. huh? Yeah. You we weren't sure, Jason. My fan. We weren't what? sure. I mean, mm. you know, I know, I know you was, I know you're a salt man, but you come down tongue long yeah, time, you know, know, so I know, I know you know. might be, you know, no. little culture differently. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> this broadcaster for so many years, television personality, radio personality, um, he dabbled in the political arena yeah. this year, last year. Um, I think we spoke that last time I was the very first time I was on Capital. I, like, I like to put it in context because, <laughs> yeah, 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 because yeah. Jason told me off camera when he came here. Yeah. I think it was a carnival. Yeah, yeah. Did you are thinking about diving into the I said, serious, Jason? He said, but you know, down the road, uh, that's where I think I, I want down the road, down the road. By the time Jason leave here, I hear, I hear Senator the Honorable. <laughs> I see what, I see what <laughs> Jason just said, we're down the road. I see, I see what, Jason down the road is like, wrong the corner. 
What happened that, that, that made you maybe jump so quickly? Well, so we would have had that personal discussion. And really people who, close to me, people I consider, would share that part of my heart with. And yeah, into the carnival, not knowing COVID and pandemic mm -hmm. and the whole scenario is going to flip. And he called him and I said, yeah, I said, probably this is it. This is the moment. Because that part of me wanting to give to the community, help, serve, it's always been there. Always been part of my game plan, part of my whole rhythm. So I said, yeah, let me go. Yeah. When the call came, I said, I sat down, I thought about it, I spoke to obviously immediate family. And they gave me the strength and support, and I said, I'm going forward. Yeah. So Jason Williams is here. Jason wanted to take another bite. Yeah, boy. You, 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 you wouldn't dabble in the steak a little bit. Mm, I'm going. You're going. Yeah. He's going for it. He's going for it. When we come back, we get a little bit more into the experience that was politics for Jason Williams. Uh, many of you know him and love him as JW on the radio airwaves for many, many years. Oh, bye bye. And uh, he dabbled in the politics. We get his experience and what's next for Ooh. the man, JW. Good thing, boy. This cleanup break is brought to you by Astonish, the pinnacle of cleaning. Share a slice with Kiss Cakes. Share a slice is brought to you by Kiss Gourmet Desserts. Sharing a cup with Jason Williams today and we're sharing a slice courtesy to the folks at Kiss Baking Company. Yeah, my Jason down in the cake already. I did you want to invite Jason to take a, a slice? No, don't uh, invite uh, me with Cheesecake mm, Man. Mm, 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 Congratulations, mm. Kiss. Oh, <laughs> so this year. Congratulations, mm -hmm. man. So we know. We're showcasing a range of kiss cakes on the show this season. And, and this one really impressed me. This is Cheesecake Heaven, they call this. Wow. So you get four different flavors. Strawberry, cherry, chocolate marble, and coffee. All in one cheesecake. The kind of nice slice it up, pre-slice it for you. Mm -hmm. So in, you're not getting one flavor cheesecake. Something for everybody. An assortment for everybody. Something for granny. Yes. Something for the wife. <laughs> Something for the neighbor. Yeah, 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 yeah I understand. Yeah, yeah, you understand? But mm. yeah, you look like it's a cheesecake, man. I love it. We know the way that it's a yeah. cheesecake. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love cheesecake. Jace, it's been a hell of a year. It is. Um, it's been. Yeah. So I mean, I mean, coming out of the political game, when 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 you when you when you jumped in, you jumped in head first, as you told us before the break. Mm -hmm. um, brave, brave, brave. Brave, brave, brave. <laughs> what, what, what was the what was the most jarring thing for you? Because because I know I know I know that is an experience that you would have never had before. Uh, mm. you, you went into it as a civilian, so to speak, on yeah. the street, and, and you jumped into it. I think waiting to see what. So to me, when you go into that arena, it's almost like you put yourself naked before the country. Yeah. You put yourself up for that public scrutiny, and no man is perfect. Everybody would have their particular battles and their particular you know, issues that they're working on. To me, I'm still a work in progress. But I was kind of waiting to see what, you know, opponents or anybody who wanted to change the narrative or, or to taint the particular narrative, what they were going to come with. And thankfully it was, I think I've been able to pass that test. Um, when I look back, most of my relationships and most of my dealings, it's always been very sincere. Um, whether things worked out or not, I think I've always tried to leave any particular scenario very uh, in a cordial way, mm -hmm. you know, very, very respectful. I thought I thought when I saw what you did, 
the impact that I thought you had on the ground, on the social media mm-hmm. platforms and so on. That, I say, Jason is a young face, a different face with a mm-hmm. contribution to make. So, mm-hmm. so I really thought that this was going to be a career path for a little while. Phase. So I was a little disappointed when I recognized, okay, full stop, that's it, no more. Yeah. I was a, I was a little disappointed. Yeah, I mean, um, people have said to me, you know, be patient. Um, it's obviously months after the general. And they're saying that, you know, uh, appointments and different uh, opportunities would be forthcoming. Mm-hmm. But until such time, I have to get back to yeah, my regularly back, yeah. scheduled program. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. I've, you know, never burned the media bridge. I never burned the entertainment bridge. No, yeah. I just kind of, I put it on pause to, to embark on this journey. Yeah. Uh, the journey came to a particular uh, stop. Uh, you know, you could be driving. When you go into Matlat and you reach after you pass the, 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 <laughs> <laughs> the wall that the leaning wall, the leaning yeah. wall of Atlat. Mm-hmm. It's come a point in the road where that's it. You see an ocean. You yeah, know, yeah. The, the, your road literally you have to stop. Come to an end. Yeah. Is that you turn back, or you could turn back on your journey, or you could probably carve a new path through the bushes or whatever. Right. But that's what that's how yeah. I feel. In terms of that commitment to the ground and to Baratari. Some people still call me. You swear, you swear I am the yeah, MPP. Don't yeah. call me up to I could, my phone. Yeah. I lady, lady messaged me yesterday in terms of an issue with um yeah. A, a hole in <laughs> in Barataria. <laughs> but the good thing is I have yeah. a, I have, a, I have a amazing relationship with the counselors. Right. So what I do when I get the particular yeah, complaints, yeah, yeah, yeah. I will now channel it across to you people reached, like Jody right. and Kimberly. You reached people, you know, um, and, that, and I think yeah. not everybody who enter politics can identify and reach reach people. And I think you did that successfully to a great extent. Yeah, um, and, 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 and that's why uh, so you're still getting calls today. Yes, yeah, so up next, guys, we have none other than our fitness chef dropping back in. She's here for fit food for Christmas. That's right. Come on back. Fit food for Christmas comes to you courtesy Namdevko Farmer's Market. Hi, morning. I am Victoria Latchman. I am a farmer from St. Augustine. Every Sunday morning, I can be found at the Namdevko Farmer's Market at Makoya. My father and his parents grew up doing gardening, and we born into gardening. Me and my brothers grew up into gardening since we small. So it's right through my life. That is all I know. I'll be 48 next year. So it's a long time. <laughs> I just tell people I born in, well, before I born I was in the garden because my mother, while well, she was making all our we, everybody, she was in the garden too, so we was there. <laughs> the pigeon peas, I only planted because I had the extra space in the land and I had to use it up. So I just planted to occupy and it do real good. It come real nice. And well, last week people took out all my peas, so I didn't have any to sell. And this week it's it, like a triple in being. I just started to pick before Christmas. Before everybody started to pick, my peas is coming before everybody. So I just be like the first one to have peas. My peas different to everybody's peas because nobody have this, this colored peas. Most, most of the peas is, is colored peas. food for Christmas and this is a pigeon peas soup we went and picked up some pigeon peas from the Namdevko farmers market and guess who's here our fitness chef we had to bring her because we haven't seen her for the entire year due to the pandemic and we wanted to bring Charlene Crook up Delph back on set with us to do this very tasty pigeon peas Soup. That's ham, Charlie. Yes, it is. Charlie, you put ham. Leftover ham. You put leftover ham in my soup. It's Christmas, oh so my it, I have goodness. to make it Christmassy. Oh my goodness, Charlie, you, you made this soup for me? Yes. Oh my goodness. And I'm honestly glad you're eating it before the show finish. You know, normally you eat it after. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I really like. I'm really happy. Meaning it's tasting, mm. tasting good. <laughs> I made it with love. Charlie, there's lots of butter. No. And cream and this. No. <laughs> I didn't. This is a healthy soup? Healthy. Olive oil. Mm. So Joella, we get started. Obviously, mm. I love cooking with fresh ingredients and fresh pigeon peas. A lot of people know pigeon peas, you know, you eat it with rice. Mm-hmm. 
everybody, you know, <laughs> just rice and peas. But now I say, you know what, it's Christmas. Everybody has leftover ham and everything here. You can get it right in your fridge. So I say, you know what, let's throw together a nice healthy soup, add a little flavors in it. And you can have it Christmas morning, New Year's night. You can have it anytime yeah. you want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So first we're going to start with some olive oil. So there's no butt such a well. <laughs> you can just add a little olive oil. So this is fantastic. Thank you. No. And we're going to add some onion, garlic, and one bay leaf. You want a lot of flavors in this soup, Joel, because pigeon peas is a little bland. We're going to add some celery. Now we want to saute up all the ingredients so all the flavors could combine together, even with the ham. So I added sweet potato to it, and I'm going to add some pumpkin, but you can add regular potatoes if you want. And then we're going to add our leftover ham. And Joel, all we're going to do is just mix everything together, sort it up for about a five minutes. Even if the um, sweet potato get a little caramelized on it, we want that. Too. So you just keep mixing it up for about a five minutes. When your pot looks all caramelized and nice mm. and smells good, we're going to add the, the pigeon, pigeon peas. peas. It looks so good. I, I mean, think my time on shell up here. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I need more, you know. You need more? Yeah. <laughs> So after the pigeon peas, we're going to add some black pepper. So you season them up now. Yeah, Italian seasoning. We're going to add some adobe, but if you don't have done, you could use the regular all-purpose seasoning. Okay. We're going to add some garlic salt, a little bit of sugar, and some tomato paste. Mm. Now, if you don't want to add the tomato paste, you can simply add like about a quarter cup of ketchup and leave out the sugar. So I end up adding the tomato base and sugar to balance it all, but oh, ketchup okay. does fine. Right, got you. Yeah. Got you, got you. Guys, you can get this recipe on our YouTube channel. Just check Cup of Joe Caribbean. All the fancy measurements, Charlie, just threw in there. She will drop the recipe for us. Some coconut milk. Mm, a cup, a whole cup going yeah, in there, Charlie. Yeah, a whole cup. Mm. And two cups of water. Since we added all the peas, we're going to add two cups of water. And Joel, all we have to do is mix this up and let it simmer for about a 20 minutes and that's it. Nice now you soup. taste it with salt, if it needs more salt, if it needs more garlic salt, but trust me, the measurements work out pretty good so you don't need any. Wow. Actually, let me try it. <laughs> Just to make sure. Just to make sure. It's Just good. Sure. It's good. This is fantastic. Charlene, it's been a pleasure having you back. Um, I really I'm so glad you made the trip all the way down from South Carolina. This soup is fantastic. Um, guys, try the recipe. Fit food for Christmas. Charlene Prokop, our fitness chef, uh, back on set with us and uh, showing us how we can eat healthy for Christmas. Fit food One for more Christmas. thing I wanted to say, Joel, because we add the ham as well. Remember, ham is salty. Some people, if you're older, you suffer diabetes, high blood pressure, you can leave all the salt, the garlic salt on the whole and just add the ham alone. Good tip. And that's Good tip. Fit Food for Christmas brought to you by the folks at the Namdefco Farmers Market. We're taking a break when we come back. Dessert. Fit Food for Christmas. Brought to you by Namdefco Farmers Market. Check out our locations island-wide. Point Fortin, Shagwanas, Queens Park, Savannah, Diego Martin, McCoya, Coover, Arima, Rio Claro, and San Fernando. Namdefco Farmers Markets. From farm to table. Christmas desserts brought to you by Regal Products. All right, so we're moving into Christmas desserts. This one brought to you by the folks at Regal Products. And we have a new lady to the Cupa Joe family. Her name is Zoe. She's of Belle I got that spell, I got that pronunciation correct. Okay. That sounded good. French is French? Yes. Belle Vie. Yes. Are, are you French trained, Zoe? Yes. You are? So you it are. It means beautiful life by Zoo. I was about to ask. Beautiful life, Belly. Beautiful life by Zoo. And beautiful baked products are on set. Um, and and Zoe is going to show us how to put together one of these breads. Which one of these breads? Because <laughs> I'm seeing another real stuff. Which one are you going to show us how we're doing today? So today we are going to make a stallone, which is this bread. Yeah. And it's a festive bread originated in Germany. So let's start. So we're going to add the flour in the bowl. Here we have approximately three cups. Mm -hmm. And to that, we're going to add our sugar. This will give the dough some sweetness. Mm -hmm. Salt, we need salt. Salt is additional flavor. Yeah. Yeast for the rice. Today, we are using clove and cinnamon. Mm -hmm. You can use cardamom with this 
or pumpkin spice if you wish. Right. Pumpkin spice is really nice. Right. And we're just going to mix this just to get everything together. Mm -hmm. So now we're going with our eggs and butter. Now the butter is not melted. We put it in the butter like this, but mm -hmm. it will it will come together. Mm -hmm. Our vanilla. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna bring it together with the water until it is homogenous. Now what we're doing here is just basically forming the gluten. Now with these three cups of flour, we're going to use about half cup of water. However, according to your temperature in your kitchen, you may need to add a little more or less. And you just leave it to mix to form the gluten. Now you would know when your dough is ready, when it form a ball around the dough hook. Yeah, right, right. If you do not have a mixer and you need to do this by hand, you're going to use your spatula. How you know this is, this is ready, you're going to pull. Right. And when you get that elasticity form, you know it's you ready. Know it's ready, right. So you can also do it, like knead it the old fashioned way, just with a spatula. Right. Right, right. Yeah. Okay, so our dough has come together nicely. So we're going to set this aside. And I have one here proofing for one hour. Right. And as you can see, it's risen really nicely. Right. So we're going to turn this over onto the board and we're going to add our fruits. So the fruits we're adding today is the raisins. So you're doing regal raisins. Mm -hmm. And cranberries. Regal cranberries. Now you can be creative and add whatever you like. See, I can add prunes in there. You can add prunes. I can add dates. Correct. And the All trail mix regal. works really well. Dates. Yes. Yeah, dates. Yeah. And the trail mix. The trail mix is also. Mm -hmm. I can add nuts as well. Correct. Right. So here we have this raisins hydrating in alcohol. You can use water, you can be creative, you can use it if you don't use alcohol. Yeah, but you can, wine. but alcohol is advised. Right. Yeah. It gives a greater flavor. Flavor, yeah. yeah so yeah. I'm going to turn this over now. Right, we don't want, we want to be gentle. We do not want to knock the air out completely. Oh, okay. okay. So gentle, a little dry flour on your hands, not too much on the dough. Spread and add your fruits. Oh. Middle extra, but we're not adding the liquid, just the fruits. And now we're going to fold because we're going to incorporate the, the fruits into the dough mm -hmm. gently. So we're just going to do like a little motion up and down, down and up, side, and there. And we fold. And we form it into a log. And here I have a grease dish. And it's going to go on this grease dish where it will have its final proofing. This proofing, it will take the shape of the dish and we allow this to rest. And we're going to put it in the oven, I would say about 325 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes. Now, this, this is a very soft and delicate dough. So if you want a hard crust on top, you can put a tray of water in the oven and allow it to steam on low. So you will drop your temperature from 325 to about 200. Right. right. Um, and then you get these guys here? Correct. Because I'm saying this has to be it. Um, right. So, so, so can I sample here as well? Yes, you can. And you can be creative too and have your kids decorate. You just use the regal icing sugar, mm -hmm. about one cup of icing sugar to about a quarter cup of water. Mm -hmm. And the color, Christmas colors. And the sprinkles and get your kids involved. So this is very good. I mean, it's very similar to our sweet bread. What I think is the difference is that our sweet bread is a little more crumbly sometimes. It finishes right. a little different. But this has uh, a texture, they said, of a brioche bread. Right, uh, because we need it. We develop the gluten. Right. Whereas in a sweet bread, we gently mix. Nice. We don't right. want to develop gluten. So, we didn't waste time in France, I told you. <laughs> so, so you do all these fancy things I'm saying here? You, yeah. You, you bake breads. Um, because like this, that's that's a, a what's, what's it called in Germany? A stollen. A stollen. So that's one there. So it's a fruit bread. Right. Um, and you 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 did, you you're making these for the holidays. Yes, I, oh, I will be. How can people contact you? They can contact me. My Instagram name is Bella V by Zoo. Bella V by uh, Zoo. Yes, and they can message. And di and direct orders. Mm -hmm. and, and and what's just tell me what's just happening here? So quickly. this is some homemade bread, right. and we have gingerbread cookies. This is real nice to do with your kids for the Christmas mm -hmm. to hang on your tree. Mm -hmm. Is actual cookies? Yes, it is. Try the recipes, guys. Nice and it's really this will go well with ham. Yes. This will go well with ham. And sorrow. And sorrow. 
and punch a cream. Yes. And all that good stuff. <laughs> Guys, that's it. Um, hope you try all the recipes. Thanking everyone for passing through. Hey, thanking JW for passing through as well. We will see you back here. Remember, all these recipes available right on our YouTube channel, Cup of Joe Caribbean. Thank you so. You're welcome.